Okay, let's look at our second true or false question. If A is similar to a diagonalizable matrix, then A is diagonalizable. Again, take a moment to see if you can prove the statement on your own or find a counterexample. So recall that two matrices A and B are said to be similar if there's an invertible matrix P such that A is equal to P inverse B P. As an additional fun question, see how this is expressed in terms of bases. What I mean by this is, what does A equal P inverse B P mean in terms of what you know regarding bases and change of basis matrices and so on. Now what I mean by this is that two matrices are similar if they are the same matrix just represented in different bases. I remember when I was an undergraduate this was so enlightening, this one sentence here. It took me so long to realize exactly what a change of basis matrix was, what similar matrices were, and what all this eigenvalue nonsense was about. Now, an invertible matrix as well, that's just a change of basis matrix. So two matrices are similar if they differ only by a choice of grid. And that's exactly what a choice of basis is. When you write a matrix down, what allows you to write it down is the fact that you've chosen a grid. So these linear maps and these abstract ideas that we learnt in linear algebra, those are made concrete when we fix a basis fix a grid, and then when we write the linear map down with respect to this grid, that's what a matrix is. An invertible matrix is when you just change the grid, and two matrices are similar if they are the same matrix as long as you can get to one to the other by just changing the grid. Okay, so if B is some diagonalizable matrix, we know that there's an invertible matrix T and a diagonal matrix D such that B equals T inverse DT. In other words, B can be written as a diagonal matrix if we change the basis of our vector space. Or in other words, if we just change the grid, we can get B to be written as a diagonal matrix. In particular, if A and B are similar, then I can write A as P inverse BP, using the fact that B is diagonalizable with B equal to T inverse DT, we can write that A is equal to P inverse T inverse D T P. But since the inverse of T P is P inverse T inverse, so when you invert the product of two matrices, right, you have to flip the order. So in particular, we can see that A is equal to T P inverse D T P. But now T P is an invertible matrix, you know, you, you take the product of two invertible matrices, you get an invertible matrix. So in other words, if A is similar to a diagonalizable matrix, it has to be diagonalizable. 